Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Problem number 3, chapter 23, Gauss law. Uh, the cube in figure has edge length 1.4 meters. So edge length I represent by A, 1.4 meters. And is oriented as shown uh, in a region of uniform uh, electric field. Find the electric flux through the right face, only right face. If the electric field in Newton per Coulomb is given by uh, part A 6i, part B minus 2j, part C uh, minus 3i plus 4k, what is the total flux through the cube for each, uh, for each field? Okay. So, uh, uh, first we are asked to find out flux through the right face. Okay. Right face is here. So, direction of right face is this way. Now that is in positive y direction. This is y axis. This is x here and this is z. So that is in positive y direction. So we can write area vector as we can write area vector as 1.4 square side square into j is in positive y direction into j. Now 1.4 square is 1.96 1.96 j. This is area vector. Okay, this is area vector. Then uh, we had to find out flux through this one in uh, three cases. Fields are given. So part A, let's go for part A. Part A, field is given by 6i, just 6i. So you can already see it's a constant uniform field. It does not depend on any coordinate and it is in x direction. Field only has x component and area has only y component. So dot product is going to be zero. So flux through the uh, right face, right face is zero because uh, one has only x component, the other has only y component. Then part B, electric field is given by, electric field is given by minus 2j, minus 2j, okay, minus 2j. Now area has y component and field also has y component so dot product will be non-zero. So this implies flux through the right face is equal to y component is minus 2 and y component is 1.96 that's equal to minus 3.92 minus 3.92 Newton meter square per coulomb. So part B, we do have flux through the right face. Then part C, then part C. Part C electric field is given by minus 3i. Electric field is minus 3i and then plus 4k, plus 4k, minus 3i plus 4k, okay, minus 3i plus 4k. Now again, you can see area has only y component and field does not have any y component. So dot product will be zero. So flux through the right face in this particular situation is zero. This has only y component and this does not have any y component. So flux. Now uh, then we are asked to find out total flux through the cube in all the three cases. Well, uh, in all the three cases, field is uniform. 6i it does not depend on coordinates. Okay, so it is constant. This is also constant. This is also constant. So in all the three cases, field is uniform. Okay, field is uniform. If field is uniform, field aligns. If I draw one of the cases, uh, let's say part A, part A. No, let me draw part B because part B will be easy there. Part B, electric field is in negative y direction. Okay, part B, field is in negative y direction. So field is this way. And it's a uniform field. So we can clearly see the number of field lines going in is same as number of field lines coming out. So inward flux is same as outward flux. Same will be in uh, same will be the case in other cases. Part A field is in positive uh, uh, positive x direction. So field is outward. Field is outward. The number of field lines coming in from the back side will be same as number of field lines coming out from the front side. So flux will be zero. Okay, flux will be zero. And then in the third case, uh, field has x component and z component. So field is somewhere here in this direction. So again, number of field lines going in from this side will be same as number of field lines going out from the other side. So flux through the closed uh, cube from uh, for this cube, flux through this cube will be zero in all the three cases. Flux through the cube 
is zero in all the three cases. Since field is uniform, uh, so flux, uh, inward flux and outward fluxes will be same in all the three cases. So total flux is going to be zero. Okay, that'll do for this session.